Franklin County Sheriff's Department in Kansas uh, did not have a typical DUI traffic stop recently. Deputies found a, a possible intoxicated driver. I don't know what the first clue was. He was heading northbound on Interstate 35 uh, when they found him. They pulled over the driver. Deputies were surprised to find the man dressed in a Bud Light beer can costume. <laughs> oh, what was your first clue? He might be drunk. He's wearing a beer, a Bud Light beer can costume. The driver was placed under arrest for, yep, driving under the influence oh, of alcohol gosh. and transported to the Franklin County Jail. The uh, video of it is hilarious. Do you think he said, hold my beer? Wouldn't, wouldn't that make him a drag queen? He's wearing a Bud Light? I mean, just saying that's the whole Bud Light thing now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I noticed Miller Light is a, it came out with red, white, and blue uh, oh. uh, packaging okay. recently. And uh, so has Yingling. Yeah, Apparently Yingling. Apparently they jumped on the bandwagon yeah. as well. A uh, former South Carolina corrections officer is facing a drug charge after she was caught trying to sneak a metal grill into prison. A grill mouthpiece? Oh. You know, all the rappers wear their grills? The Department of Corrections says uh, 26-year-old Alkina Hackett tried to hide the grill in her hair. <laughs> that led deputies to search her car where they found 130 grams of uh, rock-like substance that tested positive for fentanyl. Oh, She's been wow. charged with trafficking fentanyl, providing prisoners with contraband and criminal conspiracy. That must be one hell of a grill. Oh, my God. Stuck in her hair. Well, she was already there. So. And police in Oklahoma responded to uh, cries for help. And it sounded like this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the sound they heard. Two Oklahoma police officers had a funny story to tell, though. After uh, responding to a report about somebody heard yelling for help, body cam video from the officers shows them arriving at the scene in a rural area of Enid, Oklahoma. And soon discovering the sound was actually a very upset goat. Aww. The uh, owner explained the goat was mad about being separated from another goat. Aww. Apparently just a, a goat in love. Poor kid. Couldn't, mm, <laughs> couldn't stand missing its partner. Poor kid. Nice one. Thank you. Those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories and more wherever you get social media. Just search Mel and Scott in the morning.